Hey guys, Andy and Sandra back again for another can review. Today we are taking a look at the fall variety pack from Sam Adams. We are only going to do three today because quite honestly drinking more than three beers in one Wednesday night is a little excessive. So we're sticking with these three here. We've got the spruce lager up first. Spruce lager um, is brewed with spruce tips and it says lager brewed with spruce tips with spruce tips added. So what they dry hop spruce tips in there? That's exactly what it says. Look. Really? Lager brewed with spruce tips with spruce tips added. I don't know. I don't know. 5.1% 14 IBU, crisp and refreshing with notes of pine. So one thing to note is that um, every year Sam Adams puts out a slightly varied fall pack. So they keep a few of their beers consistently showing up in every fall pack, but then they switch out the other. So that's the Spruce Lager is a brand new one for 2018. Yeah, never seen this one before. Um, I don't know, Sam Adams makes a ton of beers. So this could be available at the actual brewery for all we know, like for longer than if they put it in the, the variety pack and distribute it. I don't know. I mean, I'm getting it, but it's like kind of vague. This one, it's kind of hanging back in there, but so much so that I don't really, I couldn't tell you that spruce was in this beer if you didn't say it was. Yeah. It tastes, um, piney almost like not not in a hoppy way but like in a tree way very very faint yeah it's very vague and very faint i'm not uh yeah it doesn't come out at all i mean i think you, you gotta can really look it for it and notice that there's something off about it but not really re realize what it is that they put in the beer all right well let's try the coffee pale ale this is a. Uh, Pale ale with coffee, brewed with ale with coffee added. Rich coffee flavor with a smooth finish. Looks like that. It is 5.3%, 20 IBU. Oh, it smells, it smells like coffee, right up front. It tastes like a Dunkin' Donuts coffee. It's like sweetly, it's like sweet coffee. Sweet carbonated coffee. That doesn't even taste like a pale ale either. It no. It's like a light. There, there's no hops presence. Yeah. There's no hop presence in it at all. It's just kind of coffee. It tastes like almost like a, like a light lager with a lot more malt in it. The malt holds that coffee together but I, it doesn't taste like beer to me. I've had like coffee IPAs, I've had coffee pale ales, obviously coffee stouts, and it's been done, done better. Definitely. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it's been like saturated in like coffee. I know what they did. They, 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 they put coffee at the bottom of the ton and then they just had the beer sit on top of it Probably. for an extended period of time. That's that's what it tastes like. It doesn't taste like it was actually brewed with it. Yeah, I was kind of looking forward to that one too. Yeah. I, I expected more more of a beer taste to this one, yeah. like a beer presence instead of just, it's full on coffee. Yeah. Like it really does taste like just coffee. Like I could drink, you could drink this in the morning and kind of almost, coffee, yeah, yeah kind of <laughs> almost feel like you're getting your caffeine fixed in the morning. I mean, it's balanced, but it's not, it's, it's too, in like, the wrong way. Yeah, the, the flavors are total, just like, you could separate them. Yeah. Think about eating, drinking coffee, and then drinking a really hoppy IPA. That would taste really weird. So I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to, they're trying to preserve the coffee flavor because it says coffee pale ale right on the can. Yeah. You know, so I get it. I can get a four pack of, uh, what is the beer that we just picked up? The Surly coffee beer. I can yeah. get a four pack of that for, I mean, actually about the same price as the whole variety pack, to yeah. be honest. But it's still, it's a way better, way better coffee beer. If you really love coffee, um, maybe. Just tell it like it is, man, being real. Let's try the infamous pumpkin ale. The pumpkin ale is a 5.7% ale with spices added. It's your typical pumpkin beer. Um, let's see how this year's rendition came out. You first. Okay, so I'm getting some sweet notes of 
clove and cinnamon and ginger, which is typical of a pumpkin ale. And I am not the biggest fan of pumpkin ales. Yay! Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, you definitely get all those, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, the clove, maybe a little cardamom in there on the back. Um, it's a little gourdy. Yeah, it's definitely gourdy, but that's, I kind of expect that in a pumpkin ale, so I like the fact that it is, it is a bit gourdy. Yeah, it's I'm, better than being like too spicy. Yeah, or like too clovey or sweet. Yeah. That's the worst. That's got to be the worst. Yeah. Like the thing about this pumpkin beer is like if you are an average consumer, that pumpkin beer is probably just fine. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you were a craft beer aficionado that likes pumpkin beers, that's not going to cut it. I mean, Sam Adams is one of those breweries that I feel like. Um, they produce really kind of consumer-friendly beers. That none of their beers are going to skew, sort of, in a heavy direction one way or the other. They're always going to be very palatable, very easy drinking beers. Um, and I think this kind of solidifies that understanding with with us and Sam Adams. They're solid, for sure. But I I don't think that I'd recommend the uh, the Fall Variety Pack over. Maybe other fall offerings. Yeah, I mean, let's let's see what they do with their winter pack. So they also release a winter pack. I typically like that one. Or I call it the Christmas pack because it's all like Christmas, like. -ish. Sometimes it comes. I remember last year. It didn't it come in like a like it looked like it was wrapped. Like the box art was like was like a box oh, that was wrapped had like, like a, a present. Big ribbon on it. Yeah. yeah. yeah hopefully they do that. Um, they do that this year. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. This I think I think this year's fall pack is. Uh, Kind of mediocre. Yeah. Kind of mediocre. Not, not Sam Adams' best work. And also included in the pack is like Boston Lager and the Black Lager. In the Oktoberfest. So the Black Lager, that's the only good one out of the pack, but I wouldn't, again, buy the pack for just that one beer. I wouldn't buy a pack for any one yeah. beer. So let's rate all these beers before we get out of here. What would you give these in order that we tasted them? Uh, two, two, three. Two, three, two. Same number scheme, but in a different pen. Yeah, exactly. So overall, should you buy the Sam Adams Fall Variety Pack? Eh, we take a pass. Mm. There are better pumpkin beers out there. There are better lagers out there. Definitely better coffee beers out there. Yeah. So that does it for us. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers. Killing me. Like, uh, I didn't have to unclip yet. Um, we could just talk to the camera, it's fine. The camera loves us. We can it doesn't talk back. That's the great part about the camera. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, how's it yeah. going? <laughs> How is it going? Legitimate question. There, there's no one on the other side of that camera. They're all watching. Yeah. Allie, are you drinking the beer from the bottle caps? She looks like an old woman. I'm Allie, I'm so old but I'm only one and a half.